now I, you know, I realize that this is, I realize that she needs an heir. Good she can't point. be without an heir. And I also realize that this is a really, she has such a great nose, so I need to get this. It goes like, it goes like down, you see? Mm. Like that. Yeah. Um, yeah. But it was yes, that, it was that air. How do we make an air? Uh, we, just well, look, look you, at monk. you just have to jump out in it. You have to do a mistake. So, and when you're willing to do that placed air wrongly, I have observed, you usually place it right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that, that's so much better to have something to work with than to measure exactly and then you color it and uh, uh, all this. And now I see that uh, I have measured a little bit strange and now she, it looks like she has a very short forehead, but she has a much bigger forehead. So I need to, I need to... Oh, I mean, how high it is? Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, I okay. need to get this up here. And, uh, okay. I mean, the light is uh, sort of right, but I need to... But Oda, I thought uh, good painters never made mistakes. Yeah, exactly. That's, uh, <laughs> you see? So this one is, is further up. Yeah, yeah. And this one yeah. comes, it comes here. Yeah. And now it looks like she has blue hair, but yeah. that will have to... And, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm a little bit tired of working on the head, so I'm going to... Try to get this get down the here, like that. But the, <coughs> so, to play with how important is it for you that the color is... I mean, like you said, okay, for, right now it looks like she has blue hair. Uh, but how important is it to you that the color is fairly correct when you sketch things up and, and get things in place? Um, I mean, now you... Uh, I hate it when it's correct. Um, uh, I, I don't want to try to make it correct. It's better if the form is, is good and the transitions are nice and mm. the expression is nice. Yep. Um, I have never liked a painting because the colors are correct. <laughs> so, yeah, I see. Yeah. So it's just not, it shouldn't be ugly colors, but I mean... Uh, yeah, it's within the limits of reasons, reason. It's... Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, and this one. Yeah, this is uh, this is a little bit difficult. I think I'm going to use my mirror. Yeah, yeah, this is this is this is very wrong. This one goes much more that way. It's it's almost it's like that. Oh, the and place. I, I see already now that I miscalculated in the beginning that this was bigger than I, than I thought. And that is the whole uh, shirt. Yeah. yeah. And I guess that's why I mentioned it, because that's uh, something I often do, I make them too small. And that, uh, that line there is fairly right, right, it's spot on. It's like, and this one goes down like that. And then you have this one. And that goes like there, but that neck is wrong. That neck should be further... That way. Now I'm doing something which is not so smart that I'm starting to measure. So I'm moving away from my intuitive work. So you try to measure as little as possible? Yes. And why? Specifically because... Because I have experienced with myself that when I measure, I, I lose all sense of form. <laughs> as and as strange rhythm? as it sounds. Yeah, I... I a little bit to me, please. Thank you. Uh, it's it's really strange, but um, uh, if you measure something, you should measure a lot of things in order for it to get correct. And so you get caught um, up in everything being like very it, correct and no, no, not like that. It means uh, it just means that usually uh, I I haven't been able to at least to get the proportions and the forms right when I have done that because I have mm. measured some things and follow that and then that has affected other things. Mm. Um, and probably there is a right way to measure things that I'm not aware of. Yeah, um, but I tend to say to, to people it's better to take it just with your oh eye Christ. and get it in there and if it's wrong you correct it than to, to measure everything so much that you, you, you get caught in 
being correct. I mean, if you can measure it with your eye, that's then your sense of what is correct is integrated in your ability to see and not, not in how the, the measuring instruments that you yeah. use. Yeah, but, but it's, it's the fact that, I think it's also the fact that I'm, I'm really o occupied with correct proportions. Mm -hmm. And if it's not right, I can't work. Like I get so disturbed, like a little bit to make mm -hmm. this, a little bit down. I get so disturbed and a lot mm. of people don't know what proportions actually are like a lot of people think that Bulgara has good proportions and he uh, doesn't no he doesn't uh, the thing is he he uh, very often he places mouth and uh, a nose and eyes and all of that right in accordance to each other in a good way but suddenly the forehead is too small oh yeah yeah okay uh, uh, or, or so something, correct in the details or something like that and it's not yeah. small in that way that you could just increase it and it would be f and it would be solved but it's small in a much more sinister way that once you fix it you get another issue somewhere else if you mm -hmm. fix it suddenly this part is too long or something mm. strange I, I don't have an example right in front of me okay, but, yeah. but a lot of people a lot of painters people think are good in proportions are actually not that good. That was my point. And so, but uh, I'm not saying I'm an expert either, but usually, uh, usually when I finish a painting, uh, it is good proportions. Like I can guarantee it. That's mm. the one thing I can sort of uh, 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 I don't know if brag is the right way. That's the one thing I can. Well, that that you're sure, certain of, yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm, and I'm really, I'm really certain that I can make bad proportions, but then I don't finish the piece. But you just understand what you said about Bugro. So, so he can the example that you use, the, like the proportions in the sort of more more detail is correct, but the general structure is yeah, 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 is yeah. not correct. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you, you, yeah. if you measure too much, you get lost in detail or yeah. I, I don't know if it is because he measured or if it was simply because he used so much standardized models and he he stopped uh, observing from reality oh, yeah, yeah. or what it is. Yeah. But uh, um, I, I I think that. There, it, there are two different kinds of proportions. It's, it's everything related to everything, and it's like the um, central features. And he's, he's good with the central features, but something oh, yeah. is okay. very wrong in the totality. And for example, if you compare him with Toulouse-Lautrec, Toulouse-Lautrec will have a lot of uh, wrong proportions in the details, <laughs> but the totality will be perfect. <laughs> and, and, yeah. and for me, I'm not sure what is the truth there, but I cannot get satisfied by a picture which doesn't have the totality. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. And if you look at this now, it's somewhat messy, but it has some totality yeah, so in the head. The rhythm of it and the, the relations between the parts are very natural or very yeah. recognizable. And uh, now I need to draw a little bit again. It's that one there, and, and it's, okay, oh so yeah, yeah, because this one is it's actually. Thank you for checking out this video from the School of Apelles. To watch the full video and access our premium library, go to caveofapelles.com slash subscribe and become a $10 patron. That's caveofapelles.com slash subscribe.